Good morning to everyone here today. Thank you so much for coming out. It's really exciting to be here with you. My name is Paula Jackman, and I'll be your host today for the NIFCA Culinary Arts Expo at AgroFest. Let's give a cheer for that. I know you're excited. So I'm just going to give you a few details and then get out of the way of our chefs here today. The National Cultural Foundation is taking its support of this year's AgroFest to another level. While the foundation has been a proud sponsor of the event, over the years, the NIFCA Culinary Expo is a key and new feature of AgroFest 2023. This historic culinary expo takes on two components. There is an exhibition of 100% local cooking products and a chef's round table where sessions of 15 participants at a time that's you, will be here to benefit from the tutelage of two top chefs, one of which is right next to me, and this is his assistant, Terry. And I'm going Chef to get Terry out of the way at some point. If you have any questions, just signal to me, and I'll come over and get the mic so that you don't have to shout. So let's go. <laughs> Sounds good. So thank you so much for the wonderful introduction. You're as as beautiful young, long, young lady said, I am Chef Craig Greenwich. I'm executive chef and owner of CM Catering. I'm John Hazard's friend as well, Chef John Hazard. Just call him out. Um, this, <laughs> I was gonna say this is my lovely assistant, but he is lovely to you guys. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, is, this is like family to me, like a brother. This is Terry Otterson, right? We, we, yeah, brother. We go through the trenches together. Lots of events, nothing bad. Working events, lots of catering from thousands coming down to two people. Right, that's what we do at CM Catering. We are also representatives of Barbados Food and Rum Festival, right. right here in Barbados annually. I also travel abroad promoting Barbados through food. I am a culinary ambassador for Barbados. I go to UK, Europe, South America, North America, America, Caribbean, different parts of Barbados. Remember that I do it at home as well, promoting Barbados through food. Right? Any questions or are you ready to see what we're doing? All right, so today I decided, you know, all I said was fish and yam. That's all I said, right? We can do a lot with that. I also decided on marlin because a lot of people think marlin is the hated fish. Marlin is my favorite fish. When prepared white, right? The texture is great. The flavor is amazing, right? So I want to show you guys that today. We're going to, what we're going to do is make the sauce, cut the fish up, marinate it, and just let it simmer in it at the end. And that's where it's awesome. But some people may sear it, build the sauce, and come up. And we all know boiling, what boiling does to anything, it takes all the liquid out of whatever is being boiled. Right? If you know if you do a beef stew or whatever, you put the beef in, it boils, it toughens up first. Everything goes into the liquid, and as you continue to boil, and then you bring it out to medium heat to simmer, then the particles in the meat and whatever start to break down and get softer. Because then the meat goes, the liquid goes back through it. Right, similar to searing, similar to grilling. Intense heat, what happens? All of the liquid runs away from the heat. So you would sear, all of the liquid runs to the middle of the meat. That's why they always uh, ask you to rest your meat. Right, so without further ado, let's walk. So I'll let you guys walk out and we go into the first stall. Yeah, it's that kind of party. Hello. You had it? Chef, how you doing, man? I'm good, my brother. How are you? I'm good, man. Good, good, good. 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 So we're looking for a good yam. Nice yam. It's AgroFest 2023. Right. Let's eat. Well, this is right one. Grow. Can you believe it's 18 years of AgroFest? I'm so, so happy that you're here to How about enjoy AgroFest yeah? on the this main one. stage. So make sure you come and check that out. Yes, also want to send oh, well, license or renew their license. Cilantro and parsley. Ready peel. Three dollars per bag or unpeeled. Growing. What we eat, eating what we grow. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You get buy a pack of onions and then one of your Chinese cabbage. Fresh, man. That's what we're talking about. Thank you so much. You know, you ladies can come and start you, correct? Really appreciate it. Thank you, here. All right, so you ready to cook, bro? You ready? Yeah. So, Chef, we just had someone new join us. So, for their benefit, could we possibly go through all the things that you got on your little shopping trip? This Chinese cabbage, bok choy, yeah, whatever you want to call it today. Today's 
Beijing and cabbage. Well, I'm just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> but we're also going to take everything out. We're going to make sure we wash between the leaves. Yeah? We all know why, right? Because we're not going to say those words. Well, we're going to peel them off and everything. But we were, we were just washing everything. Yeah, we keep it clean. Keep it clean. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Don't, no whispering. I don't say wrong. You sure, sure, sure? I just make sure I don't want to get in trouble, you know? No one's perfect. If I do make a mistake, what we do? Correct it. Continue, yeah? And anytime you cannot set your mistakes, you got a problem. You know, mom? Sorry, like that. Where's not your place? Everybody good? Everybody good? Ready to cook? Well, ready for me to cook? You guys are watching. So what we're going to do, we're going to rinse our fish. We're going to season it. And while we're cooking, we're going to let it sit, marinate. Yeah? Honestly, what I like to do, when I wash off and I season it, put my lime on and everything. And I keep my fish like that. I do not lime my salt and then season. Because it starts the cooking process, starts to dry out the fish. So similar to the boiling where the liquid goes into the water, or the liquid from the protein or vegetable or whatever goes into the water, same thing with the lime or lemon or even vinegar. It extracts. That's like a liquid dehydrator kind of, yeah? So we don't want that to happen. We want the marlin to stay nice and soft. Yeah? Yes, mom? Good, good. I got to double check, you know. And I want, I, I want to say something, and I know a lot of other guys in here, especially John, would agree with me. Us chefs, when we were starting out, we always used to measure our food. Not, not measure as in way, that's for the bakers. But we always used to measure the quality, the taste of our food and the tradition of our food to grandmothers, aunties, any of the ladies at the houses in the kitchen. Yeah? I still do. I pass a few of them. I still do measure because there's a blueprint. There's a blueprint and it starts there. So I think y'all should clap for the ladies of Barbados and Caribbean. Right, right, right. Right. Good. And some of the men, but still, the funny thing is, traditionally we would always measure. Oh, that's a grandmother pot. Oh, you get that from your auntie. You know, that's what we would hear. I met a lot of good cooks, our guys too, my uncle and my father. So, I also regard those guys at a very high standard. So, this is what we have. And I, I kind of like to, that we didn't get blue marlin. You know, there's a difference. So, this is actually, they call it striped marlin. As you will see, it has some lines running through it. So, I'm glad we got this one. Because this is one of the ones that you really should cook right to keep it nice and moist, nice and soft. Yeah? So it could get away from you because these same lines could tighten up, right? So we cut them right, they're going to stay wonderful. And that's just what we're going to do. So right now we're just going to cut them into smaller pieces so we know how much people are going to get. But not also so they cook a lot faster. But our chefs, we do a lot of portion control when we're cooking. We wouldn't usually... It can be nice and rustic, right? It don't have to be too. Thank you. Also loving you all already. And it starts with a good knife as well, huh? Yeah. I borrowed this one from John. Still here? He gone, he gone, he gone, he gone. I didn't borrow it from him. Right? But nice. Some good dice. We're going to add those to the bowl. Any questions, just let them come. No, 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 that's, that's just, that's just senu, yeah. But it's not a very hard senu. It's a softer one. But you cook it too long, it can get hard. But you cook it right, it actually gets a little jelly, and it stays soft and nice. Yeah, and that's what we're looking for today. Ask for blue marlin first. Yeah, which is the, the, high, the higher end cut. Well, fish, really. It's not like you get blue and straight from one fish. <laughs> To the different fish. All right, we can rest this down the end. And as you all notice, I, I, I kind of talk and move pretty quickly. Anything that you don't understand is ask Terry. He wouldn't know anything, but just ask him and then I'll answer for you. <laughs> Green board. 
<laughs> mm -hmm. Reason, reason being, right? Too much of it can alter your taste, especially if it's an older fish. You want to get rid of all of that. You want the flesh, the white flesh of the, of the fish, right? Some people do, because that, that carries the, the um, bloodline through the fish. So it's, it's richer. So everybody can see nice dice and everything. All right, so we can get a quick season up. And remember, we can do a nice flavorful sauce, so we don't got to kill it. And I, I just bring this fancy sauce, cause I, this salt, because I got this home, right? But actually, cut is a more natural salt, and I like to use it for the health benefits of it, yeah? There's more than that, but you can look that up. I kind of try to keep things simple. Yeah, see, I, so we, you got to nod. You just talk about, just talk about ladies in the houses in Barbados. It is not as intense as other salt either. Really nice flavor profile. I'm not going to pass it around for everyone to taste now because it's going to mess up your dish, right? Just a little, as I said, the sauce that we're going to make is going to have a lot of flavor. Two more stirs, right? One, two, done with that. All right. Some more salt? Some more, some more salt? No. Oh. <laughs> I just plain. I just plain. <laughs> right? These are not local, but we use a lot of lime. Local limes are smaller, way more juice, and they have a lot more seeds. Way better flavor, too. But these are a close second. All right? And we're going to put the lime on, as I said. And leave it. See, it has, well, I should not have disrespected this lime. It has a lot of juice. So we're going to use half now. Pepper. Right? Y'all can see? Everybody can see? This is black pepper. Yeah, black pepper. You can use pepper mill, but I like a black pepper that has a little bit of body, as you can tell. Not too fine. These are the ones that I like. And this is um, the spice blend that we use at CM Catering. It's barbecue seasoning, seasoned salt, all local spices, MIS and Super Blend. So garlic powder, Cajun spice, seasoned salt. Forget something. Barbecue seasoning, yes. And, and, and a little bit of paprika, right? So it has sodium as well, so that's why I didn't add too much salt. And I like to build my different flavors with my salt and everything, instead of having one note, you know? Right. What are you missing now? Bajans tell me, what are you missing? Three. Who said that? Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Just some seasoning. Yeah, you forget, mom. For you don't use seasoning, mom? Don't slap, huh? I will let you already. Don't mind you coming here late. All right, so we got hot stepper MVP mango and passion fruit sauce. This is the one we paint on your fish then and in the sauce. Yeah? Pass it around and check before you put it in. Pass it around and check, man. Not too much seasoning, right, mom? Seasoning flavor, mom? That's enough, we need too much. Yeah, they do, and they end up eating seasoning or not. <laughs> it's true, it's true. It is true. Right, we're making this little space work though, see? They come in right here. How's yours, mom? All right, we can see how that simmer if that stop there. Here. <laughs> simmer. All right, so the pepper sauce, they're coming back. All right, cool. All right, so let's mix up. And we can rest it back in the cooler until we're ready. Yeah? Everybody following right now? What do you want to tell me? You sure? Going good? All right. If I fall off, let me know, right? Good, good. Put me back on my bicycle. Right. Rest it back in the ice. It's not a fridge or anything. We don't need to wrap it up. <laughs> it's literally just that in the cooler. And the pesto that we can use as well. All right? Oh, that's Beijing seasoning. But we got a local pesto there that we're going to... You're going to add that in. All right. Next step. Who got it? See, so mom, mom, you perking though. Mom, you don't make sport. Yam. Because we got to let boil while we're making the sauce. See? Well, no, we soon finish, right? 
The hardest part of fresh, the healthy food, is preparation and buying good ingredients. We ready? The boy drumming, the boy clapping. Give me, a, give me, give me. Nah, we could do better than that, man. Everybody do something. Let me see. No, no, it's not clapping. It's a, it's a drum. It's a drum. It's a drum. So we can see. We can see where we stand. My eyes closed here. Tell me how it look. Oh, that sounds good. That's good job, John. Good, not John Hazard. John, the vegetable man, the farmer. Oh, there's some good looking yam, yeah. All right. A little salt. You put the salt in water, yeah. You keep watching. Because a lot of the flavor going in the sauce. And then we can, of course, um, sorry. The, we're from the States, so the no yam, problem. that is different than what I see in the supermarket. They you don't guys call sweet potato yam. Okay. This is yam. Okay, but the ones in, at Macy's are teeny tiny. They're not big like that? No, no. no. I'm, unfortunately, you guys don't get the real stuff. Okay. This is <laughs> yam. Okay. Right. And sweet potatoes are not yam. Yep. Sweet potatoes are that you guys are not even sweet potatoes to us. Okay. We get upset because they're more of a watery content. It's like a pumpkin cross with a sweet potato. Okay. okay. Not, no, the ones that they call yams are like that. Fibrous and soft. Tell me what you're saying there. Eh? Are you listening? They've got those ones. Mm -hmm. And they've got the, so the soft sweet potatoes from Brazil. Which is orange sweet potatoes. Yeah, from Brazil. Right. Yeah. So Which I call sweet potatoes. But I'm speaking about those ones what? that are gold they're always a little smaller and they're very very watery brazil, those ones brazil they've got um sweet potatoes like what you got here but they're yeah. more expensive for sure they're white yeah. and they're gold i know exactly yes. what you're talking about but not them not the ones we're talking about there okay. <laughs> no you wouldn't like them at all if you had them I but I, you had them you love them sorry no. my dairy <laughs> I saw this lady huh? had her hand up. You have a question? You me? I was talking um, just now. You want me to keep it real neat? Chef I, could do, I could do it. And I apologize. She said, Peter, we have too much yam. So I can keep it close. I'm yeah. sorry. I listen I, I could take my mistakes. I, I would have questioned the yam peeling as well. but um. You were? <laughs> yeah. They call it a talking and one on your time. But, but no, I have another uh -huh. thing. You said um, you can get the yams abroad as well but they tend to be smaller yeah you get big ones too but i was just making sport at those little ones she she got or she might have been seeing at those no you never know no the yams itself but you get that's why mm -hmm. i question whether it was a, a hard yam or a soft yam how do you know that it's a soft yam that's john <laughs> that, honestly that's that's a good question you don't always know you don't right I have trial and error. That's the truth. Thank you. I think yeah, you're welcome. And I can keep this Thanks. this peeling tight. See, I get in trouble. What was that? I, had, I think it's, she had me in trouble. White shirt get me in trouble peeling. That hiding behind in the red. I see you, sweet potato lady. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, man, sorry. I swear, I see a white shirt. But everybody here, <laughs> everybody here had sauce before. My Americans, no, you never had sauce? Sauce. But you know, you really shouldn't talk about it on Saturday unless you're eating it. So I would stop right there for now. I will. Yeah. I run myself in trouble. All right. <laughs> he good, man. He good. All right. Let me speed up. Everybody good? Ready to eat, right? Soon. Soon. Once this boiling, we can make the sauce, and then it's slimy, yeah? so you got to be careful. But you know what we call it? We call that sliminess, we call that power in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Power. Next power. time you see Hussein, Hussein Bolt, no mind from Jamaica, you stop him and ask him about yams. Yeah, he can tell you. But don't worry, we got people that eat yams in Barbados that like world know too. Rihanna, Sigurdfield Sobers, Obadeli Thompson. Chef Craig, yeah. huh? Oh yeah. You put in the sauce, man. DJ Schoolboy, technician. You see, cutting them out. Look, see, small cutting them, right, mom? You know why? Right. We ain't, we ain't got all day. No, we do, but not to do this one dish. We can take every time and go on there. Please cut fast. Don't make me look bad.
Chef Craig, I owe you an apology. We started at 11.30. You have an hour left. See, I, I, see, I know. You know. <laughs> I had a waiting. I had a waiting call. I don't waste time. We can finish, and then we got half an hour to eat and talk. And I said, we eat and talk. I mean, you all uh, eat, I talk. My school boy dream about South. Yeah. No more no questions? I can tell you all some things then. So while I cook, we can talk about some things. I am one of the youngest chefs in Barbados to win the Barbados Chef of the Year title. Right? And that was Vinif Vinifka. One of the youngest. I won it at 24. Another guy, he won at 24 as well. I don't think there's anybody younger yet. But myself and Andrea Nurse, 24 years old. That year was also the same year that I joined the Barbados Club 19. It was one spot available. And I won it in my second competition ever. Went up against a lot of good guys. And I got, and I beat them. Yes, please. Where it is? Where it is? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Where they talk? I in the skin, mom. I can take it off. Oh, man, when I'm happy, you know. I can go back to the story now while I cut this. So that cut ain't born. Good. But thank you. You know you can get trouble. I'm also, apart from being a claim chef, it was very disgusting as a little boy. Hence why I could talk a lot now and be able to have fun. Hard ears. I mean hard ears. But we can leave that for later. Go back to the titles. So, as I said, made the Barbados Colony team. And why was giving John Hazard so much trouble? He was the captain of the team that year. That's when I met John. So we go all the way back to when I was 24. So y'all know how far back that was? I'm I'm 20. I'm no, I'm 42 now. So you can count and go back. Looking sweet, Jesus. Uh, the yams here. Yeah? Is the yams and the steam fish, boy? All in the, all in the yams. Yeah. All right. And then after that. After that, making the Barbados Colony team, I still stayed in local competition. Are you making too much yam? No, I don't think so either. Because that, we eating that. And by we, by we, me, y'all. Right? So, um, yeah, made the Barbados Colony team. Went on to Miami to represent Barbados at Tasty Caribbean competition. Hmm? You remember? Yeah, and I, I come up with a dollar and 50 cents for all the years I compete. I compete, <laughs> I compete for six years. I with all the teams. I can get to what I mean. Got all silver. So, so we were called in 25 cents. So all silvers. I was in the rebuilding process, though. So, so I enjoyed the, the learning, the, the camaraderie of the other teams and everything. And I developed my skill there as well. All right, so that was one chef of the year. Came back again in 2000 and seven and they won Barbados Chef of the Year again. Um and then in two thousand and nine. So we have three three titles. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um and with that I also started to represent Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc. as an ambassador chef, traveling all around the world, which I mentioned that already. And I also um I also gained some Chef of the Year awards internationally. Right, I've won the um, first again, so there are a lot of firsts for me. The first Barbadian chef to win the American Chef Cook-Off, I was in Miami, competed against the Army, Army chefs in, in, in America, Argentina, France, Mexico, all those kind of people competed against and, and won, right? Also, I did, um, what's the other one now, Embassy Chef Challenge which is also in America, so you see I've been there a lot, doing a lot of damage. And before I continue, I, was, I want to mention to you guys, all of these competitions that I won was with Beijing food. All Beijing, of course. I'm not Beijing chef to go away and cook something else to win, no. Representing Barbados and cooking Asian, that ain't sound right, you know? That ain't sound right at all. I cook Asian when I want to try out at home, off for work. Mom, tell me, what do you do wrong? No, just checking, just checking, just checking. Right. Okay. <laughs> but I, I, I could take my licks, as I said. I get a lot growing up, as I said, too. You work right back there, but you look tired, man. Okay? Tired? Oh, dear, you tired. 
You got to get over it. I can't help you. Yeah. I was now getting Teddy. Yeah, I'm going to help you though. Right. So apart from that, while they're peeling and doing this sort of stuff, when you get a certain knife skills there, y'all could just tell me if you like it or not. It's the simple part. Um, but yeah, then I won the um, Rum and Rhythm is also a Caribbean-based competition, but it was based in New York. So Caribbean Tourism Organization, which has now dissolved, they used to have um, um, we would call a banquet, but then they attached a chef competition to it, and I won that competition. I won the chef judge's choice once, and I won the people's choice two times. Right, and I competed there for about five years when the competition was going on. And apart from winning those, I am um, also came second. Which one I didn't win, I came second. So I got a good record over there as well. And again, all Beijing food. Yeah? With slight twists. I remember that. Don't be afraid to take your Beijing food and do it slightly different. But keep the seasoning, keep the pepper sauce, and add what else you want to add. Yeah? Don't be afraid. Beijing is the core. Everything else is just an infusion. Y'all want to hear any more about Achilles? Are we talking about cooking now? No? Take a break for now? Cut us some onions? Right. All right, so uh, while we're working to we can introduce some more of these um, products. So this, I just got sent over. Y'all can pass it around, take a look. The flavors, bay leaf, and, and sour salt. So in the Caribbean, we use a lot of bay leaf. Right, I know y'all y'all know. My lady back there know, sweet potato lady. Y'all don't know. But we put bay leaf in stews and all kind of stuff. You oh s are we talking about then? So we put that in there. We also gonna put it in the sauce. It's nice. Alright, I can speed up a little bit here, everybody. Yeah? Everybody let the quiet though. We want some music, man. Don't you see we got music? Sing something, sing something. That, yeah, cause you'd be on the other other singing, you'd be dancing. Schoolboy music, man. Putting themselves, we see you putting themselves on then. So in this meantime, we can just speed up. Don't don't do that. Don't go nowhere. He did not ask to leave. Y'all saw that? Y'all didn't see that, now. Nah. Tomato was trying to roll here. You got to talk to your food. You, you in charge of the kitchen, you know. Can't let them get out of control. Yeah, honestly, honestly, and that's a good question. The thing about sharpening your knife and keeping it sharp is use it correct. That's the main thing, first and foremost. Cut the right way. Cut the right thing. And your knife will last a lot longer. If you cut any old hole and take off the edge and dull it, then you've got to put back an edge on it. Keep your edge. Cut right. Cut the right things. Don't cut any plastic. Don't cut any wood. Nothing like that. The, the teeth? Yeah, right here. Look. Okay. Any kidding? They're all right. But yeah. Hmm? Oh, yeah. For sure. Right? You know what? I should do that a little more professional now. Which which one? Okay, Garney, where you put all the yeah. herbs and you tie it up and correct, it in correct. Here. Yeah, you know, we don't say that. We just say we put herbs in, and that's the truth. We simplify everything. That's why I love about Beijing food. Menu writing is simple and beautiful. You know exactly what it is, and when we take it overseas and we introduce it to other people, they love it because you can understand what it is. Like how everybody would say, Trinidadians would say, what is this called? They call fish cakes. What? Well, Accra. We say fish cake. It's fish. It's fried into cake. Simple, right? You know, you know, you guys have um, crackers, gourmet crackers and stuff. Those are salt biscuits in Barbados. Everything is a biscuit: sweet biscuit, salt biscuit, hard biscuits. Like no, no cookies. Cookies are sweet biscuits. Yeah. So just we just simplify everything, and I love it. Totally love it. But yeah. Bouquet garni is what the French say. Yeah. Because because I is do these things and do demos and talk to you all and make sure that I keep engaged 
so that I don't cut myself. And I have a guard up. As you see, my finger is flat. The thumb is behind there. That's how I do it. So clap now. Yeah, it's all in, it's all in the training. For speed, efficiency, and safety. Reasons for doing that. You don't cut yourself. Cause I can cut it so and show you. You don't go away. That's what you hear with me. Oh, these are perfect for what we're doing, though. You don't want them too They're ripe green. to go in the sauce. No, it's green and red. It's Christmas. <laughs> but no, these are good. Trust me. We actually do make a lot of gravies and stuff with the greener, hard tomatoes, yeah. Because it, nice, it has a nice citrus tone to it, flavor, instead of the kind of watered, riper tomato. So we like those for sauces and stuff. So I didn't even choose. As I said, we're going over to the vendors, and what they give us, we can make work. Because you got to do that sometimes. Hence competition, hence being a caterer. You've got to be able to mix it up. If not, you're always going to fall on your two. If you're too specific and you need too much, we would call special ingredients as a chef, you would not be able to adapt. And all of this also I learned in the houses of all the Bajans. Adapt. Find different things to cook, different ways to cook things. This is a soft yam, mom. This is a good yam. You see? Very good yam. So we, we go past the bottom. Get another one from John Free. You all to hear that part, no? So we can get a little tray. And by tray, I mean I can cut it. Because I'm not going to eat that hot thing and you all laugh at me. You all ready for some fun then? Because we ain't got no colander. I don't think we have a colander. Mm-hmm. Don't watch me. Just watch. See what you're doing, right? No, you slowly, just slow. Make sure that my girl with camera over there can see too. You see, nine and falling out. The boy getting burned. Yeah. What happening? Water can out, right? Slow, patience. Do, do not go over there and make me look bad. Come on now. All right. And then we just do now for your bad behaved ones. You hold them, right, mom? Aye, aye, see, I got my back, man. See that? Oh. So there's always a way. Yeah? Everybody good? You good too, Miss NCF? <laughs> yeah. Good, 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 good. Everybody having fun learning anything? Good. Sweet. That's a good yam. John do a good job, boy. You good, my brother? Karen, you good too? You want to try a piece of yam? That's, that's a good yam. A real, real good yam. What's we got cut up now? Just the, the cabbage now. We can saute it out. I can, I can make the sauce, but then we can saute that, saute that with onion, garlic, butter, spices, and everything. Doing things different, man. Power. Power. Check here, arm. They yam arms, you know. I know. See, I know that. But trust me, with the spices and everything, you're gonna be happy, man. You're gonna like it. You're gonna be vexed with me. I promise. All the things that you like. I knew you was coming. I knew you was coming, man. What to do for here? Now I stop. Uh, just checking, that's a good answer, that's the truth. As I say, y'all, just to get trouble. Good. Come here, stop that. I'm trying to run away, ain't I running away today? What are we missing now? One more thing we went, boy, you want to remember? Parting cilantro? Not yet, soon. But we could do pick off a little bit of parting cilantro for me and just rest in here. We don't need to waste it because we can cook again, right? No ginger today. Mm -mm. I like ginger too, but not today, not today, not today. Good. Yeah, a little more. A little more, a little more. And then a little more the other one, and we good. All right, everybody go with garlic. I got tin in the body, blood or nothing. Like that. I know with the pressure. 
Low blood pressure, that is so? Good? Just checking. You got a snorkel? Huh? I guess I ain't got mouth too. That's the old time Beijing way for begging. You know that, mum. I just see somebody with something and then getting that. Why you got mouth too? Yeah, my grandfather used to kill me with that, man. All the time. Right? Pressing, taking off. Everybody know the pure garlic, right? Right. In a bottle, yeah, you could do all that too. It's more fun though. Work, that does work the arms too, but me. And as you would notice, we try to, our chefs would try to stay one or a few utensils. You got too much, you got to stop, you got to move around, and that sort of thing. So we try to stay very technical with what we're supposed to use, and we get through. We almost got a complete dish, and what we use so far besides bowls, pots, and these two knives. Yeah, you don't need so much, man. You just gotta know what you're doing, right? But when Sophie asked me what you need, I say you need things to cook. Full stop. Pots, pans, bowls, whatever. And we're having a good time. Well, I'm having a good time. You're having a good time too? You sure? A little louder? Yeah? Oh, it's just melatonin. Oh, I can live with that. Yes is yes. My guy, you'll be having a good time too. You got a new watch and everything. <laughs> well, Stunt for now, then. Stunt for now. We got two days down here together, so you could bark, but not while I'm here. Right, 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 right. So we crush them. You know what that also does, right? Is let it behave itself. Let it keep quiet when you try and cut them. If it rounded, it could bounce away, bounce over the place. And if you want to crush it a little further, you could continue with that. A little further. You can release the oils too. If you slice it from when it's whole to, you release it all, but it can take longer, and it can bounce all over the place. See him bouncing? They looking at you? Yeah? You gotta do things. Yeah, man. You gotta do things, yeah? Watching you too? I'm missing any? You sure? Sure, sure, sure? Stop part? <laughs> Testing me. We can't do it time, man. And we don't need it too, too, too fine. We are almost there. A little further? No? Sure? Wanna sure? No? Yeah, we good? I can do the whole rest of this cooking thing without looking down. I only kidding here, you gotta cook, yeah. All right, so we can let that get hot. We can hopefully it give it a little smoky, smoky coming up. And then we can get a nice sear in there. Call for searing and grilling anything like that, you need high heat. All right? It could be a short sear and it could be a long sear too. Call we could have it high, then we could lower it to medium and continue to sear while it continues to cook. But for what we're doing is to keep these things nice and vibrant, quick sear, get them going, we can add our sauces, our flavorings and everything, and that's it. Get the fish, allow it to simmer, put it on one side, and then we can do the yam. Ain't no happening after that, right? Eating time. Oh, watch the herbs, man. He trying to trick me, see? Oh, sorry, man. I apologize. Let me ask you a question, mom. Especially right, right here in the middle. In terms of these stems with parsley and cilantro, do you think we need to take them off? Not necessarily. That's my mom used the top girl, you know. <laughs> Reason being, they're softer herbs. It's not like thyme or marjoram where there's a, a woody stem. So all of this is palatable. So we're going to chop it all up. You do a garment, can you cast with PDED? That's so, so ironic. So ironic. My first job was with PDED. Yeah. And that's where I met the chef that actually trained me. Chef Anthony Ford. I know a lot of y'all guys wouldn't know him. But he was the backbone of Peter's company. All the DC catering, he was the head chef. He's just amazing. Amazing, amazing guy. I actually, he was honestly like a father to me while I was working with Peter because the amount of time that I spent there and him as a head chef guided us in the right direction and in the right ways. Sure enough, it brings shame. Let me stop that there. That's what you hear with me, doing it for you. Yeah? Let me stoop down and do it. Mm -hmm. 
Listen, I always tell people cooking is love. Cooking is fun. As you get too technical, it gets boring. That's why you don't bake. You get the cake, you mix it in the penny oven. What are you doing all that time? Are you singing take five minutes? I like to cook. I got to chop up something. I know you like to bake. I don't, I don't like it. I don't know me, I like to bake. I just don't like to bake now. Too much cooking. Too much cooking. You ain't cooking anything you can't be baking too. All right, so we trying this oil here now. Go for it. Pass it around quick before the pan get too hot. See, I knew we could have do it. I knew it. It smell good though. Want to smell it? We going straight in, boy. If the product ain't good, she in trouble today. So we going in. Smell good. Well, I can't smell it yet. Go get a little farm back here, man. Oh, oh. You getting it? Good, good. So we're going to have the onions in here. Reason being, we need onions to saute there. Yeah? All right. Garlic. Spoon for any spices. Let me down one. Yeah, that good. How we looking? We looking good? Look, we cooking, right? We the cooking all the time, man. Y'all having a good time now? Everybody having a good time? You want some of this? Because this can make, it bring you back up, though. So half your tomatoes in now, half at the end. You want them ones there, them in flavor. Chef, yeah? I just wanted to let everyone know that the oil that you just used is Correct. available right next door if they want to get that afterwards. Well, right next door as in number four table going now. I got it right? Number yes. four? One, two, five. Five or well, I don't know. Five or six. Utopia. Utopia. So that's the six or the fifth table going now. <laughs> so go down till you see the big Utopia sign. Huh? Yeah. I was trying to be a little more technical. Booth number six. That in the case. Go down to your city side. I love it. Right. How we coming along there? I can go home. You mean pesto now? The pesto coming. Which 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 um which sign is that? <laughs> the lady. Number two. Three, two. Number two. Well, from me, it's number two. I guess it's number three. One, two, three. Pink table. Head wrap. On this is the oil lady. Right, this is the oil with passion. The ghetto guys, it's an oily passion, but we ain't saying all that stuff. <laughs> oil with passion. Utopia. Don't worry, Zach. We're getting the you pepper sauce, dude. Ashley, come one time. Come one time. Come one time. This, this, this is Zachary. Zachary going real far, man. He's... You can tell he's a star boy, you know. He got to get all the way around here and take off everything. I shouldn't even send him when he get here, you know. <laughs> we spatula. We spatula over there. So this is the oil lady, you, 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 Utopia Blends, Michelle Johnson. Nice, nice to meet them. We met already. This, this is Zachary Moore. There's another one that I knew from the time he was... Small, you think you get big now, but he's still small, right? Right, right, but doing good work. He has a line of sauces, right? We can use some of this in the sauce and everything. So, as I say, going straight and so far, you good. You. We can see what Zachary do. We can see what Zachary do when this sauce finish. Huh? You want to say anything? Y'all want to say anything about the brands? Hi. My mean I got use barbecue Utopia sauce. Blends is sure. a COVID baby. I, I am a chef, or used to be a chef. Um, so I just really wanted to create something healthier for people to enjoy their favorite foods. And I decided on oil. So what, I, what we do, we just infuse the herbs that you guys usually seek to drink tea or to cook your lambs with and stuff. And I put them in the oil. So we just have a, a healthier option to the already healthy oils they have up there. So correct, we're going to look forward to grapeseed and olive oil. Since, sorry to cut you off. Since you were a chef, still our chef, because you're still doing oils. Right. Could you tell them the step that I'm at here right now? Which Sauteing. He's sauteing sauteing and, and the vegetables and stuff are caramelized. caramelized not sorry. burning. Do not say burning. <laughs> right. It's so they're caramelizing. You're caramelizing your, your right. onions. And, and so stuff. now I can add the liquid? No, you can add your liquid, Right. Sir. So you continue. <laughs> I will add the liquid. 
Mr. Barbecue Sauce, where is he? Saint we have sweet chili to go in. Auntie Phyllis. Come, Join come, us. no, come right round. I got you. <laughs> so we were going to use I had to catch up our sweet chili, but you know what? We are Agrofest. We are in the NCF, and these are the accelerator program guys and the local producers right. of lots of good stuff. Clap. I can have a quick, quick clap. <laughs> right. I never try this sauce neither. So you on the spot too. So Zach, you want to say something while I yes, put this please. sauce in? That'd be good. Hi, my name is Zachary Moore. I'm from Hot Supper Pepper Sauces or Liquid Desserts as the name of the company. And the Hot Supper brand started from, what I can say, a disaster on the farm. We are agricultural students, um, our partners, and we was trying to do everything possible to protect it from the monkeys. But you know, the monkeys at the end of the day prevailed. And the only thing they didn't touch was the peppers, exactly. Because that's one of the things we learned. Put Monke peppers monkeys around it, stupid. and the mon monkeys ain't gonna touch it. However, when life gives you peppers, it made pepper sauce, exactly. Uh, we're so talking about exactly that. What we did, we took the, 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 the a Bajan specialty, which is the hot pepper sauce, and we scourged the earth looking for indigenous products, and that's what we did. We took mango and passion fruit, and we infused it with the, the Bajan pepper sauce, and we made a unique combination, a unique flavor. And how is it, Craig? How is it? How is it? <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm talking it, about. It ready, it ready, it ready. It ready. Nice. Wonderful, but. I know, was this good, though? <laughs> it's it's good. good. Exactly. Continue to talk, um, continue. But, Don't let me slow um, you down. But yeah, that's where we started, and right now we are still on our um, way moving forward. We was a part of the Food and Rum Accelerator Program with 10 Habitat. We learned a lot. I met amazing, amazing, and amazing team of entrepreneurs. And um, every day is a, a struggle, every day is a challenge, but we continue for it. So thank you very much. That's me. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Cool. You see that everybody getting sauce, right? <laughs> and as beer, just want to know where the sweetness is, right? Say harder, man, I love you. In, in the sauce, in the sauce. <laughs> Say harder. The next person we're going to chat with actually provided today's pesto chef. I know. <laughs> you feel I know. When it was at Brayton Market on Saturday, where were you? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting our pesto. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Laura Pilgrim, and I am the creator of Perfect Pesto. This oh, is yes. a locally produced pesto. Basil is locally grown. Fresh, bright, robust taste, very different from the pestos you've probably tried. So I'm looking forward to all of you guys having to taste it and loving it. Oh, they can taste it. All right. Quite going right in here. <laughs> no, basil is the main ingredient in this type of pesto. It also has olive oil and almonds and lots of other good stuff. Right. Good for you. Before I go, everybody's good with almonds. Any allergies? Any? Yes. And no cheese allergies, because that one has cheese. Parmesan, almonds, no? Yes? Good. No but I'm talking, so I can put it in. Good. Everybody good? Yeah. Good. You see, it's a good day. You see that? No but I'm allergic to she product on nothing. That's what we're talking about. But well, we're here to show off. You always show up and show off. I show up and show off. Whatever you call it. I work here with it. You love basil? Me too. Mom, mom. I feel you find me to me, you know. If you use family to me, so what's what we can call this sauce here? Cause it's to steam the fish. But I mean, it going oh, all these things candy. here. <laughs> Only thing ain't going breadfruit pasta. <laughs> but we can work for now. Don't worry. Hi, hey. good afternoon, everyone. My name is Wayne, and I am the representative of Auntie Phyllis Bajan Barbecue mm. Sauce. Certainly, you are there having a smell of the rum fusion. We smell offer this? five Wanna flavors, but the rum fusion is the one that everybody loves, especially since the food and rum pass around, festival. You know? <laughs> you know, I pass around, see what's going on. Just make sure everything comes back up here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we wanted to make a sauce that people would love and that would embrace Bajan culture. And what else better than rum that is made homegrown right Say here it again. in Barbados? Say it again. What better to have as a barbecue sauce infused with rum Made right here. You're saying it in wrong, Barbados. though. Oh. The originators of, of rum. Of rum. In the terms of production. Yes. We weren't the first to make rum. Yes. But we're the ones that turn it into business. See how smart Bajans are? Yeah. <laughs> right. So the best rum in the world and the first to do it. Yes. Right. And Continue, to infuse sir. it Continue. with barbecue sauce. Okay, you know, you're going, you're, you're going to the supermarkets, you buy barbecue smelly. sauces, you always have to come back and you have to add this, add that. 
but no we created a product that you can come purchase and pour and it will make your meal exquisite Say that again. It will make your meal exquisite. exquisite. Just <laughs> smell the aroma from the sauce, right? Ma's a sweet milk man, man. Look you. Literally, you know. Literally. What I'm <laughs> Listen. That's what we're talking about. So y'all want to stay with me till I finish or y'all going back to your booth? I don't mind staying because I love stay the aroma. Right. It's stay nice. Stay right there. All right, Zach. All right, so yes, tell us about the fruit pasta. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Bernice Chase from JMP Farms. And the bread fruit pasta was developed because um, I realized Thank quite you. a number of persons in Barbados have been having um, gluten free challenges. So, and some people even have the gluten free challenge and don't even know. Um, those persons that Gosh, with uh-oh. irritable um, bowel syndrome, sinuses, headaches, even ladies whose wombs are filled with inflammation that can't have babies. And a lot of persons don't know that gluten um, does that sometimes because the body uh, manufactures mucus naturally, but if that mucus becomes too much, it, comes, it becomes inflammation and then it can cause trouble. So my idea was to create a product that we can eat without causing us harm. Um, and breadfruit mm-hmm. is actually a superfood it can give you all the nutrients and vitamins that you need without even eating another fruit food, okay? Um, so that's why Tropical Pasta was created, to supply that pasta craving for those persons who cannot eat regular pasta. All right, all right. Yeah, you go over after this, you go over, then you have that breadfruit pasta. So thank you to all of you for coming over to chat with us. Right, right, right. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah. Do flicky. Do all lard now. Thank you. <laughs> we can bring you back to say. All right. So now we've had all the local brands. This is actually local margarine. It's not a butter. Gluten free, vegan. I know you didn't know that, I know. We just think kid. It just tastes good for years. But this is the product of products. This is in every household. Not necessarily garlic, but but some flour, always saying glow spread, so we make sure you get it right. So we're painting some butter. You like butter. You love <laughs> Say it again, Mom. I love butter. She's saying it's so passionate to I love butter. <laughs> right. Oh, you see butter, butter. You got, oh, you got money put down. Right, the ram cheaper for sure. Huh? Is it T.S.? I know, man. I use it too when I got a big budget. Otherwise, I use in sunflower. Not just me. I actually don't use a lot of dairy because of how my body set up. Sinuses, I stay away. Sauce look good though. Yeah, man. All right, so what we can do now, we can drop the um, Chinese cabbage and we can put in the fish. Let that simmer at the end. Saute, and that's it. Cause you want to know why I need Chinese cabbage too, right now? But I can spring some more water and loosen up the, and then we add the fish in there to simmer down. And it's Merry Christmas after that. Everybody good? Wanna like me or no? No? Don't come back? No, right. Can I wait to taste you? As I can do like young girls. If you can't be home, you're gonna marry me. <laughs> I ain't going home without marriage. Oh. Hmm? Oh, I actually just like this ring. I bought it. I'm, I'm not married, but I bought it for this hand. Too tight. So I put it there. No lies. All right, mom, I'm not tricking nobody. Uh, good. And I'm not um, done with that. Let we cook. But yeah. So simmer down. We turn back up a little. And then we can, as soon as the green get a little lighter, a little soft, the Chinese cabbage. Simmer the fish at the top, and then we can play it up. Yeah? Everybody still happy? Everybody good? Right, any problems? Just, it smell good? My, it smell good from my ear too, yeah. Got me in trouble here now. But you smart, you cut things that I could eat too. That look good, don't you know? Yeah. Jeez, oh man. That way you say I want a recipe, you can hold your back. What recipe today I want? I know the cook. 
I think so, I think so. Been cooking for a lot of years, man. Professionally. Twenty years. It's twenty years. This year can be twenty three years really. Start cooking at four. Yeah, I did, you know. Yeah, I told him I went straight in and tear the place. Straight in, tear it up. Yeah, they did, you know. She's not lying, they banned me. I got banned. I was going in cook off and winning every year. And they banned me. They say again, greedy. But it's all right. Get me the right arm today, you know. I get banned from the BHTA one too. Me <laughs> was winning out of ban me too. You good is get banned out here, boy. When you ready for fish? If you're ready to pay fish, this looks so good. Are you ready to eat? You cut this here, Terry? No, we'll cut this one. I wish you could have cut so so you won't go do it so nice, you know. All right. I ain't started going. I don't want me going. It's all in? No, you gotta put them in at good angles. Everybody get happy, see? Y'all watching? Yeah, because it's almost full time. You does a Bajan thing. I'm so surprised there isn't one lady that can well we ain't get the end yet. But usually there's always one lady that pops out at the end and asks for her plate. Ain't watch a bit of the demo. Pop at the end. I'm ready. You wanna say something? You ain't see me taste? You the watching them. I taste the sauce. Then when I show one of the soy sauce. Mum see though. No, I was tasting, trust me. Let's move fast sometimes. That's all right. You answer the question, we don't answer it. Yes, I taste. Chef Craig. Yes. Oh, hi. Wait, Thank wait. you. All right, she when, are you when are you going to put on your own cooking competition? Because you're a pioneer by now, right? You're an expert by now. I wonder why when the ladies always know what in a man pocket are you praying. Oh. I don't know. It's good places to shop in. No man sell. 25.50. No, I got 25.50 in my wallet. <laughs> she know I planning to cook an event for the end of the year. And you call it out. There you go. So we're looking well, at we'll November. We'll be there. You can be there? We'll be there. I'm not for competing, sure. okay? <laughs> I'm organizing. But actually, what I want to do is not just the regular four for plate nothing. I want to do it as a dining experience. Mm. So every chef would be allowed to do tapa style meals. They come out on platter and it's an event. And you can actually interact with the chefs at the same time. Not just stand out there, oh we man cooking the pot four plates and get a taste none nah. None of that. Oh sorry, sorry mum. Yes sorry. question. But yes. Mm. Yes I, please. I want to know the weight of the fish that you use. The weight. The weight? Yeah. Really? I tell you, I'm not a baker. I know that. Mine says about two and a half pounds. Okay. Yeah. Before you trim off and stuff. Okay, thank you. How are you looking, Mom? How are you looking? Yeah. For how many fillets did you use? Oh, I didn't, I, oh, I didn't cut the fillets. That's why I have a fish guy. He staked them for me. But more lately, it came from just, just about, I think he had like 10 to 15 pounds. And I thought the steak from those, but it was not a fillet, it was more of a chunk. Marlin is huge. You can start from here and go three quarter way down the table for Marlin. I see the, the yes, yeah, that big. Good? Don't worry, it's not my wife or girlfriend, it's just my friend, I'm just letting you know. Huh? No, I said it's not my wife or girlfriend. So you have a but wife? I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Who said. Uh, <laughs> Y'all ladies, huh? <laughs> Y'all being naughty now. I thought we kind of cook. But we are almost ready. Right now, you know what this want? This want my grandfather bowl, the yams, and then a spoon. I eat it. That's what my grandfather used to eat. Everything with a spoon. I know how. I can't get out of the tub. <laughs> but, um, all right, we can bar a bowl. This one? I can use this one? All right, so I can take yam out. We can get this sauté, and then we place it. What time we at? We out of time? 13 more minutes, 13. Balling, man. Balling. Take up my tea bike too. We ain't introduced that lady though that does the tea bikes. Dr. Peters. You know, it's Dr. Sonia Peters. And she is also on the left hand side, near at the top of the tent. She is there. We'll try and get her up here for you. All right, sounds good. 
All right. This one lighting technician, my stop. We rinse down for me. I got it. I got it. I got it. You set me up good. They perking out here now. Everybody good still? Everybody. I want you down now. You know you. Think that we both here drinking milk. Everybody good? Oh, oh! This is the this is the beautiful tease lady, or the beautiful lady with the tease, whichever way you want to put it. That sounds. Good. Right, we stick it with that one then. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you can talk to the crowd. Oh, good afternoon, Mom, all. Here. Um, I imagine the aromas have got you all anticipating. Um, and I heard that you've been using our Bay Cafe. The yes. Yes. Don't put me on spot. I'm still learning. <laughs> but yeah, the one with the bay leaf and stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, our herbal teas are based on our local tradition. Um, which they're called cooling teas. Cooling teas are designed to put you into a better state of health. Um, don't let the cooling mislead you. It's not about the fact that it's, it's hot and not cold, but the cooling is what it does internally. Um, I happen to be a chemist as well, and so I can explain that. Um, the, the idea of cooling is to remove oxidative stress from the body. And the plants that we have chosen, though they're part of our tradition, they've also been tested by me as a chemist, and they're loaded with antioxidants. Mm -hmm. You hear about antioxidants very often nowadays, don't you? Yeah? Yeah, so bay leaf actually was rated as highest amongst the plants that we tested. So bay leaf is rich in antioxidants. We have part of our folklore here, you might want to call it, um, where it says that if you put bay leaf in your cupboard, um, you're going to keep your cupboard free of insects. Um, so the bay leaf is multifunctional and uh, it's extremely good in terms of its antioxidant potential, ability to lower oxidative stress. So our teas are full of flavor and aroma and I'm happy to hear that the Bay Cafe has been used here today. It's one of our most popular ones. Um, we've got seven herbal teas. We've got rose ginger, which is a combination of um, sorrel and ginger with a hint of cinnamon. We've got lemon on the bay and lemon ginger, and we're using lemongrass in there. That's very aromatic. Um, we have ginger and bay leaf in those combinations. We've got cinnabe, and the names tell you what's in there. We've got moringa mint, and they're all full of flavor, very aromatic, and uh, very refreshing when you use them as hot teas or cold teas. Um, so, any questions, anything more? No, that's good. I guess they're all good. I think they're ready to eat. <laughs> they're ready to eat. Okay, but please enjoy and thank you for supporting us. Thank you too. Yeah. Very welcome. All right, butter. Yeah. All right. One last thing, right? What are we doing now? Yeah, not too much butter, mom. Well, margarine. And I just cut some more onion quickly while looking at you. Just <laughs> we ain't gonna waste no more time. It's time to eat, right? Well, it's a taste. This is not lunch. All right, just declaring that quickly. All right, that can rinse out. This can stay dry. Mom, I want y'all, let's keep watching. No flies, all right? Who I design, mom does your job there, just no flies. So we actually, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the, um, get the arms in here. Just in a minute, I don't need them too caramelized. I want to bring them down together. You know what we say in Barbados? Browning. When you start to brown the vegetables and the onions and things, it's caramelizing. Yeah. Just intensifies, darkens in color, caramelizing. But if you're making caramel, the sugar gets brown. Similar process. So we're just making it darker and sweeter. Like we, you know? Like beer. Hmm? You mean burning the sugar? Come on, mom. You want to teach me that? Huh? 
We'll be looking good there, yeah? I, you could say something too. Say it on the mic. How we looking? Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> she wants it too. Tell, tell, tell me how we looking. No, I'm saying you're looking good. Go, me or? Both. All right. God is good. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm going in now. We don't want to kill you, you know? We want to bring the flavor together. We some spices there, but I left some? Oh, shoot. No. Always wasting things. This chef terrible here. I don't know who met here at all. Spices, because we didn't kill you with salt before. So there's more so your flavor going in here. You taste and your flavor. Don't get nervous. It could. You forget already? All right, barbecue seasoning, seasoned salt, Cajun spice, garlic powder, and a little bit of paprika. You got it? You sure? All right. We add the lime juice still. Last of the lime. You know what other starts we use with butter, lime, or water? I, the old schooler is letting me down, man. Schoolboy, what does be? He head down. He's studying sauce. Not sauce. Pulp edders. Oh, mommy's. Ah, I got she. I win that one. I win one. I win one. So, pulp edders are usually boiling in the skin. Then you soak it in that. Then you peel and you eat. Wonderful. There's a grandma child, man. Don't worry. Grandma, auntie, all of them. Any house that I went to used to be in people's kitchen until they run me out. Now it's going to my own kitchen. Nobody can't run me. A lot of herbs, right? A lot of herbs. Flavor, texture, taste. Yeah? If you ain't like saying, tell me you know. Oh, I wouldn't be getting nothing to eat. Right? Nothing to eat. What time we got left? Five minutes? Three? Again, nervous now. You say shaking, I think. All right. And we ain't want overdo. We ain't want too much salt or nothing. We just want to bring this flavor together, yeah? How right, it looking? Looking good. Well, let somebody do a good job. Good job, Terry. Good job, man. Keeping things jiggy. My favorite part coming up, you know, is that? I can taste it. I want one of them plastic spoons again. So everybody good? Everybody had a good time with Chef Craig so far? Yeah. Good, good. Me too, you know, I had a good time, man. Huh? Cooking, outdoors, good crowd, good sound system, DL Smith. These are, this is another group that had me a lot on board with them when I first started out. I can tell you it was green. And they would call me to care the events and all sort of stuff. Worked me real hard. I barely got equipment. I running all about. But again, job done. And we still could do stuff together now. So I like that, you know? They didn't forget me. They didn't forget me. Especially NCF. What care ain't gone. Don't mind, don't let she hide, you know. She's another one too that's believing you. Put you in the right position to do what you need to do. Alright? Good people. Good circle. And now we at Agro Fest for this weekend. I love I know what you think, though. Stop peeping on this part. I can tell when I when it done. Stop. Everybody looking down. He ain't gonna stop stirring at that idea, though. I mean, he talking about friends and all sorts of things. You just want to eat now? So we getting ready to play it up. Mm hmm Oh. <laughs> you thought mom don't want to give you a high shit, man. Left that idea for now. All right, we wipe off. People talk about wipe off there. Mm, I can play it one. Make it a little, a little sorry, you know? Yeah. See if we can still do a thing. We need all the fancy, fancy today. The colors, texture, everything can speak for itself. Let me use my left arm, my right hand, like the shake and thing. We down to one minute? Yes, exactly that. Yeah. Pressure's on? Hi. Oh, somebody call my name. That, Mom, that tastes good. No citrus, not too much salt, nothing at all. That tastes good. I want that big spoon. Hmm? Yeah, man. So, 
I going in gentle here because it's a non-stick pan, see? And let it scrape the bottom. A lot of people will talk a lot of things. But you want to hear something? You want to really want to hear? I ain't care. I ain't care. You can't care about everything, man. Right, Karen? Yeah. You can't care about everything. Don't I put a little piece more? All right. That's a little piece more. No, oh, look good. I think that could work. I know it's time to eat, but I want to make it a little sweet for one of the first, see? Good, good, good. Now look at the radio, I can stop there. Just hmm? Yeah, we can bring them up here. By finishing this, we'll take it easy. Or do a pretty one first. Oh dear, mom. Oh, that look in. I like flavor, you know? I'm getting nervous here now, though. Like, I can't get this plate, boy. They focus in. Let's take it easy. Settle. <laughs> Do not fall. Stop that. Stop it. <laughs> I hear that. Who's that? Mm. How are you looking? How are you looking? Looking good? I must sit down to like three seconds now. <laughs> we are going fast. We live here for the weekend, right? Wait, 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 when I'm going to need them. I ain't going to want to come back and see when I'm going to get back. See that right? I tell his hands, just shake all the time. Another thing I get from my grandmother. Huh? Watch me now, though. I can, he left like hand, so I bar he hand. I tell you that. See how stable it is now, though? In nervousness is the nerves. Yeah, thank you, grand grand. You see? Stop playing around, you fool, you ready to eat? <laughs> Mom said yes. But yeah, nice, rustic, a little bit of green on top. I mean, honestly, you can serve that in a restaurant, yeah? So there you have it. We're going to call it the Agafest Steam Marlin, right? With the um, Accelerator Program crew. <laughs> And a nice Big John sauteed yam. Yeah? That's what we call it. So I'm Chef Craig and they're gone. I'm serving the samples. I mean, samples. Thank you for joining us here at the Nifka Culinary Arts Expo at AgroFest 2023. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you to the NCF and, of course, the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc. for making it all possible. Thank you to them especially for the infrastructure here. And thank you to you for joining us. See you at the next one.